Hey guys, today I'm going to do a page in my Life Crafted album. It's been a hot minute since I put anything in here. So I wanted to make this page with this really cute photo that I took of Jack when he came to visit me not long ago. Um, I just converted the photo to black and white uh, just because I knew I wanted to do a little bit of mixed media on this page. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is go through my truly grateful 6x8 pad and pick out a paper that is going to end up being the colour scheme for this. This whole page and then I am gonna pop over to my computer and use a new cut file from scrapbook.com so I've just opened a new file in silhouette studio and I'm gonna go ahead and grab this heart wreath frame PNG file from the my whole heart folder and just drag that onto my document here this is a PNG, so I need to trace it to get my cut file. So I've just gone to my trace tool, select trace area, and just drag over the entire file. And I can go trace. Now you can see it's got some weird sort of little lines in here. And I suspect that's because the um, PNG files are greeny, sort of green color rather than black. So. I'm just going to undo this. Um, so it's gone back to I've selected the trace area. And I'm just going to, you can see these little lines in here. So I'm just going to increase the threshold until those little lines disappear. And then click trace. And so my cut file is complete now. It doesn't have any of those little lines in it. So I can go ahead and delete the PNG file. And now I've got my cut file. I'm going to be working in my Life Crafted album. So I going to need to resize this I suspect so uh, what I'll do is just draw out a rectangle uh, that is five inches by eight and a quarter inches and copy and paste that so that I can get the actual size of my spread that I'm going to work with just group those together and so my cut file I just need to reduce this just a little bit I think make it something like this so it's just going to fit nicely on one side of my page and I think I'm going to do more than one I think so I'm going to copy and paste that again I think I'm going to do three I'm going to have my main one on one side with the photo and then I want another like another couple just to give me that visual triangle I think but what you can see is that I'm only ever going to use like less than half of these cut files. So I should be able to get away with just cutting two. So I've got the right size. I can go ahead and delete the other bits that I don't need to cut. I'm going to pop these up here and go ahead and send that to my silhouette. So while that's cutting, I'm just going to make things easier on myself and I'm going to just stick the two halves of my paper together with washi tape. I've already trimmed these pages down to the size for my Life Crafted album that's five inches by eight and a quarter. Um, I've just some white heavy cardstock and I'm going to use some of these Lindy's Magical Shakers on this page. So sticking those two bits together is just going to make this mixed media a little bit easier for me. So I've cut out my two heart wreaths and I also saved all of those little hearts from the inside of the wreath there. I don't know if I'll use them yet, um, but they were too pretty to throw away really. So I'm just going to put them to the side and I might find a use for them later. Now I'm going to do my mixed media just directly onto this cardstock. I have used it before and I know that it's not going to warp too much because I'm not going to add a lot of water. So I haven't prepped it with gesso or anything like that. This is just straight onto, I think it's about 300 GSM cardstock. So it is super thick, super heavyweight and not going to sort of warp at all. Now what I've done is I've grabbed three of these magical shakers. I've got Magnolia Magenta Gold, Boom Papa Pink, and California poppy gold and I've just sprinkled a tiny little amount um, of each of those colors in a sort of wreath shape where my wreath is going to go on the page so I am just eyeballing it um, but I know roughly where it's going to go and roughly the shape it's going to be in uh, and because I'm 
doing mixed media it doesn't have to be totally perfect there's going to be little bits everywhere so you can see I sprinkled the colors on and definitely that magnolia magenta gold is much much darker than the other two so I'm going to use a little bit more water on that particular color rather than the other ones and all I'm doing is just splattering little bits of water on top of the powders and then very gently sort of mixing that in with my brush and uh, once the color is on my brush and then adding little splatters around so trying to keep those three colors reasonably separate I don't want them to blend too much um, and that umpapa pink did need just a little bit more a little bit more color I was a little light-handed but I think it's better to um, better to start light and be able to add more later on uh, I have learned that from experience the more you add at the start the harder it is to control so little bits at a time and I just keep laying my wreath over top of that uh, just to make sure it's in the right shape in the right area and to see where I might need to add a little bit more now this wreath on the right hand side that I'm going to add is going to have my photo in the middle of it so I'm more worried about what's happening sort of around the outside of this shape rather than the inside but I am going to add another two uh, semi-circles of um, mixed media onto the left hand side. So for this bottom one I'm just adding two colours so I'm adding the magenta and the yellow and then I'll add another one, sort of another semicircle at the top there and I'll use the gold and the umpapa pink so um, just adding little bits of color the side does end up a little bit darker so I do need to add a bit more water you can see it's definitely darker than the right hand side and that will lighten up as it dries um, but it is clearly a lot darker than um, the right hand side to start off with so I'm just gonna end up uh, adding a bit more and sort of splattering it round and lightening it up with a bit of water you can see there and just just playing with it basically I am definitely no expert when it comes to mixed media so it is all just about playing so here's where I'm gonna add my third one at the top here and I'm doing the exact same thing this one will go just a little bit over the join where the two pieces are in the middle and that's why I wanted to tape those two together in the first place so that if this happens I can make sure that they stay together and that those patterns that the watercolor make uh, do join up in the right place I love this umpapa pink it is got like touches of like super pink in there but then it is this really pretty blush shade as well these powders are just so pretty it's so easy to get that really fun watercolor look um, because really the powders do basically most of the work for you the only thing that I have uh, learned especially when I'm not um, when I haven't prepped any cardstock like this is to just be really careful with how much water you actually add um, to your page to try and make sure it doesn't warp too much. But you can see there that that looks pretty good. Um, the other thing is of like, course I'm, I'm always tempted to sort of overplay it. Um, the thing I've decided to do is join those two colors. The yellow at the top is quite different so it's quite separate so I didn't worry about blending that but I did take it away and just give it a little speed up with my hair dryer because I am definitely not patient enough to let that dry on its own and then all I did was work out which wreath works best with the colors that I've put down. All three of those colors are actually in this pattern paper somewhere but not necessarily in those blocks so I've just picked which wreath I want to go around my photo placed it on top of my photo now my mat for my silhouette is quite new so there was still quite a lot of stick left on these pieces so I've just kind of roughly stuck it onto my photo uh, where I want it to go just to make sure that all of the photo is on the inside of that wreath there then I've added a little bit of wet adhesive around the outside and I'm just gonna let that dry for just just a minute while I do this other side so that I can then go and fussy cut my photo so again I'm just working out the best place for the wreaths I kind of want to make sure that they're it's not really tone on tone but just so that they tone in more than contrast I guess is what I'm hoping for so I've worked out sort of where each half of this wreath is gonna go and I'm doing the same thing I'm using that little needle nose bottle just to add a tiny bit of adhesive it doesn't need a lot 
place it down on top of my watercolor and then I can just use my scissors to trim off the other piece of the wreath that I don't need. And then I've got that second half that I can use to play with the top, which is why I only needed two rather than three, despite the fact that I am going to put three wreaths on this page. So same thing for this one, I'm just adding a little bit of adhesive. It doesn't matter if the adhesive sort of goes off the page, um, I'm going to trim it down anyway. So I'm adding as much adhesive as I need and then carefully placing my wreath down and then I can trim off the edges. And then I can go back to the original one that I did. I just wanted to give that a chance to dry just a little bit um, before I start fussy cutting. What I'm gonna do is fussy cut out the inside of this photo. And you probably could have done this on Silhouette if you wanted to. Um, I had already printed my photo before I printed the cut file, so um, I didn't wanna have to reprint the photo. So I'm just gonna do this manually with scissors. When I glued that down, I only glued sort of the bottom points of those hearts. You can see I can slip my scissors underneath there easily enough to just trim out a rough circle to make that a little bit easier. And then I'm gonna go in and just carefully cut out the inside of each of these hearts, cut out the photo part. So the photo will only be in the little sort of star-shaped piece inside the wreath. Definitely not going to make you watch all of that because it did take a little bit of time. So I will skip forward until it's all finished and all cut out nicely. So once that all is cut out, I'm going to add just a little bit more adhesive around the outside of those hearts. I want to glue this piece all down onto the page. Um, I am going to add some just tape runner into the middle behind my photo and I should have done that first. I sort of forgot about it uh, and I'm not sure that the wet media, the wet glue, the PVA around the outside is going to be enough to hold it. So I did carefully peel it off. Um, it hadn't stuck down at all. And then just add my tape runner and just press that down so it's all stuck down nicely onto my page. And this page is almost finished, to be honest. I'm not going to add too much more to it because I love the mixed media and the sort of simplicity of it. But I do want to add some of these little puffy sticker words uh, from, again, from the Truly Grateful collection. Everything's from Truly Grateful. Um, and I love these tiny little words. So I'm going to pick out three colors that kind of match the colors that I've got going on on the page. I've got that sort of magenta -y pink uh, love and the yellow sunshine uh, and I'm going to add green. I'm going to add the word joy there and I'm just working out where I want to put it. I'm going to end up with two words on the left hand side and one on the right. It's not really a title. I mean I guess all three of them are a title. The page kind of doesn't really have a title or a journaling or anything like that. It's more sort of a mixed media arty kind of page I guess so I'm just gonna add these little letters using my tweezers did remember to go and grab those so that I can place them sort of around the edge of the heart so not straight as they're intended but um, sort of slightly curved and the tweezers definitely do help with that I'm either starting from one end and working my way around or with the word joy there I started in the middle to make sure that I can get them all sort of nicely spaced around Sunshine is quite a long one, so I wanted to start on the left hand side to make sure I didn't accidentally end up um, running out of room. I don't want to have to peel anything up off this page because I'm worried that it's going to peel off the color that I've spent so much time putting down. So I am being a tiny bit careful. But that's those three words, my three titles. And this is where I decided yeah, I did want to use some of these little hearts. I think they'll make a cute little embellishment. So there are obviously a ton to choose from. So I'm just placing, I want to do three again. want to keep that sort of the rule of three there. So I'm picking out three that are going to go sort of match the colors that they're closest to in the watercolor piece so got my little three there i swapped that one out because it's a little bit more purple um, which i really liked it makes a difference but i've got the three there and i'm going to also add some of those little enamel heart stickers that are in the embellishment pack i'm truly grateful they're my favorite i have been hoarding them uh, but now's the time to release that and actually add some onto the page. So again, I'm going to try and stick. It's not really tone on tone because I don't have all of the colors available uh, in these little enamel hearts. So I'm just going for as close as I can get. 
I've added one next to each of the paper hearts and then I'm just gonna add a couple more there was one that was actually stuck on the outside of my packaging luckily I've managed to peel that off and then all I did was punch some holes in my card and pop that into my life crafted album so love how this page turned out that cut file is so cute and was so perfect as a little frame for my photo look at the love on that face he is such a cutie if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already if you want to keep watching there's a couple more videos on screen otherwise i'll see you next time bye guys